Welcome once again to the folks, thank you for joining me for another video for your La Liga predictions and betting tips. I hope you had a wonderful game week last week and things went well and you managed to win some bets. Alright, so well for this year game week we're going to start on Friday, I'm going to go from Friday through to Monday. And I'm going to jump straight into it, we're going to start with Cadiz versus Girona. Alright, as you know I'm going to give you my straight up result, I'm going to give you a predicted score line and I'm going to give you a bet on the handicap system. Alright, so pretty much that's what I'll be doing for the most part and from the score line then you can decide whether you're going to go over or under. Alright, well for Cadiz versus Girona, I'm expecting Cadiz to win here. And the both teams not to score. In terms of a double chance, I'll go with uh, either team to win and both not to score. Predicted score line for me, I'm saying Cadiz should win this 1-1-0. And on the handicap system, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, basis being Cadiz to win by a goal, but we're gonna have to take a draw, alright? In terms of another double chance, I'll do, I'll go with either team to win and on the 3.5. So let's just go ahead and do a quick recap here of Cadiz versus Girona. And uh, Cadiz versus Girona, I'm expecting Cadiz to win here at 2080. I'm expecting both teams not to score. Uh, in terms of a double chance, I go with either to win and both not to score, and that's 2030. Predicted score line on folks, ensure you get your papers and your pens out or pencil. And I'm saying Cadiz should win this one 1 0, and that's $7.50. Uh, in terms of a uh, handicap system, I'm going with a draw on the basis that Cadiz wins by a goal, and that's $4.33. Alright, another double chance bet that you could take here is uh, either team to win, and on the 3.5 goals in total for this game alright so those are my predictions for Cadiz versus Girona now we're going to move on to our next game which is Almeria versus Real Betis and for Almeria versus Real Betis uh, I'm expecting here uh, <coughs> I'm expecting this one to end in a draw uh, mind you I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Real Betis comes through and, and snatch the win here but I'm expecting a draw here I'm expecting both teams to score as well in terms of uh, predicted score line I'm saying here we should have a one all draw and in terms of uh, double chance I would go with uh, a draw and under 4.5 so therefore uh, based on my predicted score line here folks as you know uh, I'm not going to have a bet on the handicap system so let's just go ahead and give you a quick recap of my predictions for uh, Almeria versus Real Betis, uh, I am expecting a draw here, and that's three dollars and ten. If that does happen, I'm expecting both teams to score as well. And um, in terms of my correct score line, I'm saying this should be a one-all draw, and that's six dollars in terms of the odds. If you want to take another double chance bet, I'll go with a draw and under four point five goals, and that's three dollars and twenty-five cents. Really lovely odds there, yeah. So those are my predictions for Almeria versus Real Betis, and now we're going to move on over to. Sevilla versus Mallorca, and for Sevilla versus Mallorca, I'm expecting uh, Sevilla to win here, and uh, I'm going to see uh, both teams to score. And so, therefore, uh, in terms of a uh, double chance, I go with either to win and both to score. Predicted score line for me, I'm giving I'm saying Sevilla to win this one, two one. In terms of uh, the handicap system, now I'm going to go ahead and take Sevilla to win by a goal, but we're going to take a draw based on our predicted score line right so uh let's go ahead and do a quick recap here folks for severe versus myoka and for severe versus myoka i'm expecting a severe to win at a dollar and eight five i'm expecting both teams to score as well at two dollars and thirty seven if both teams score take a note of that folks all right so in terms of uh double chance bet i go with either to win and the both to score and that's four dollars in terms of the odds, in terms of car score, I'm expecting uh, Sevilla to win this 1-2-1, one, one, and that's $9 if that happens. In terms of the handicap system, I'm going ahead and I'm taking a draw here, and that's $3.38. So those are my predictions for Sevilla versus Mallorca, and from Sevilla, to, from Sevilla versus Mallorca to Valencia versus Athletic Bilbao, uh, we're going. And for this particular game, Valencia versus Athletic Bilbao, I'm expecting Valencia to handle business here. It's not going to be easy against Athletic Bilbao, though. They have been stubborn uh, for, for athlete uh, uh, for the most part throughout the season, so I'm expecting Valencia to have a challenge on their hands here. But I do expect them to come away with a victory, and I'm saying here both teams to score as well. And in terms of a double chance, I'll go with either to win and both to score. Predicted scoreline for me, I'm saying 2 1 here in favor of uh, Valencia. And uh, in terms of the handicap system, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a draw. 
bases being balanced here winning by a goal three-way handicap system taking a draw here folks so let's go ahead and give you a quick recap all right then for valencia versus athletic Bilbao. I'm expecting Valencia to win here at $3, and I'm expecting both teams to score as well at $1.90. In terms of a double chance, either team to win and both to score, that's $3. Uh, correct score line, folks. Take note of this. 2-1 in favor of Valencia over Athletic Bilbao, and that's $11 if that happens. Uh, currently, that is. And in terms of uh, the handicap system, I'm taking a draw here, and that's $4.33. Right? So those are my predictions for Valencia versus Athletic Bilbao. And then let's move on to the next game, which is... Uh, Hitafe versus Rayo Vallecano and for Hitafe versus Rayo Vallecano I'm expecting this one I'm expecting Hitafe to come away with the victory here and I'm expecting both teams not to score uh, in terms of uh, double chance I go with either to win and both not to score uh, predicted score line for me I'm saying Hitafe wins this one 1-0 and in terms of uh, another double chance bet that you could take you could take either team to win and uh, total score being on a three point five goals right in terms of the handicap system basis being hit after winning by a goal we're going to take a draw here folks three-way handicap system remember where we always use a three-way handicap system here on betway all right so uh recapping predictions for hit after versus rival Arcana. i'm expecting half hit after to win uh by a hit after to win and that's 2087 if they do win uh the current odds and in terms of both teams scoring i'm saying no that should not be the case both teams should not score and that's dollar and sixty if that happens in terms of a double chance i go with either team to win and both not to score and that's two dollars and fifteen and the really lovely odds in terms of the car score line prediction here for me i'm saying hitafe wins this one one nil and that's six dollars and fifty cents if that happens in terms of uh another double chance bet here you could go with either team to win and under 3.5 goals in total for the game and that's $1.70. In terms of the handicap system, taking a draw here based on my predicted score line and as I say folks, it's a three-way handicap system. If you've been around long enough and watching my channel long enough, you'd have realized we always use a three-way handicap system. So you see me seeing a draw here. It's a draw on the basis of uh, Hitafe winning by a goal and that's $4.20 if that happens. Right? So uh, therefore folks, those are my predictions for the Hitafe versus uh, Rayo Vallecano. And now we're going to move on to our next game and our next game will be Celta de Vigo versus Atletico Madrid and for Celta de Vigo versus Atletico de Madrid I'm expecting um, <clears throat> this one here to end in a draw and uh, I'm going to see here we, we both teams to score and in terms of it I'm expecting a one all draw here and in terms of uh, a double chance that you could go ahead and take you could go with a draw and under 4.5 and so therefore we're not going to have a bet on the handicap system here all right based on my predicted score line so let's go ahead and give you a quick recap of for Celta de Vigo versus Atletico Madrid I'm expecting uh, a draw here and that's three dollars if that happens in terms of the draw and the odds that is and I'm expecting both teams to score as well at uh, two dollars and five cents really lovely odds for both teams to score uh, in terms of correct score prediction I'm saying we should have a one all draw here and that's six dollars in terms of uh, double chance bet you could go ahead and take a draw and and under 4.5 goals in total for this game and that's three dollars and ten if that happens right so uh, those are my predictions for Celta de Vigo versus uh, Atletico Madrid all right and now we're going to move on to our next game folks and the next game will be uh let's hold on here uh, just a little bit now things taking a little time here so let's just jump onto this and from Celta de Vigo versus Atletico Madrid to Real Valladolid versus Osasuna and for Real Valladolid versus Osasuna I'm expecting uh, this one to be another smooth and interesting one and I'm saying here I'm gonna take a Real Valladolid to win this one but uh, they're going to have to stand firm against Osasuna because it's not going to be easy so Real Valladolid to win for me and both teams not to score in terms of a double chance I go with either to win and both not to score predicted score line for me I'm saying Rayo Valladolid to win this 1-1-0 otherwise I think they might win 2-0 uh, and uh, if we do have three goals uh, it would be Rayo Valladolid winning by the odd goal I believe all right so let's go ahead and give you your bet on the handicap system three-way handicap basis being a uh, Real Valladolid winning by a goal we're taking a draw here all right so uh let's go ahead and give you the recap for this game uh, Real Valladolid versus Osasuna I'm expecting Real Valladolid to win here at 2075 I'm expecting both teams not to score either and and that's a dollar and 77 if that happens in terms of a double chance here either team to win and both not to score uh two 
$12.20, folks. In terms of the car expert line, I'm saying this one should be a 1 0 victory in favor of Real Valladolid, and that's $7. In terms of the handicap system, I'm taking the draw here, and that's $4.20. Alright, so those are my predictions for Real Valladolid versus uh, Osasuna. And now we're going to move on over to our next game, and our next game will be uh, Villarreal versus Barcelona. Now, there should be a. Uh, uh, an interesting matchup but based on how Barcelona have been playing uh, Villarreal uh, trying to find their way back but uh, yeah you never know with these teams right so uh, for uh, Villarreal versus Barcelona my predictions are I'm expecting uh, Barcelona to squeeze here uh, I'm expecting both teams to score as well and in terms of uh, double chance I'll go with either to win and both to score predicted score line for me I'm saying Barcelona wins this 1-2-1 one, one. and in terms of the handicap system I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take Barcelona all right to win this one by a goal that's being the basis and uh, a draw based on my predicted score line all right so uh therefore uh, in terms of if you want to take another double chance bet you could also go with uh, either team to win and on the 4.5 all right so recap and predictions for Villarreal versus Barcelona. I'm expecting Barcelona to win at $1.77. I'm expecting both teams to score as well at $1.66. In terms of a double chance, I go with either to win and the both to score, and that's $2.040. Lovely ads if you ask me. Uh, in terms of the car scoreline, of course, get your pens and papers out. Uh, and that is 2-1 in favor of Barcelona, and that's $8 if that happens. All right, in terms of the handicap system, I'm taking a draw, and that's $3.60. In terms of another double chance bet that you could take is either team to win, and under 4.5 goals in total for the game, and that's $1.57. And as we are usually seeing about any odds above $1.50, is usually really good odds, yeah? $1.50 and upwards, really good odds, because remember, you're not going to be having only one prediction on here so we're gonna have maybe a minimum three all right so uh general folks that's how the cookie crumbles for Villarreal versus barcelona now we're gonna jump on over to our next game which is our uh <clears throat> final game for this year game week and it's going to be uh let me see here uh let me just clear this it's going to be uh espanol versus real sociedad and for the espanol versus real sociedad i'm expecting here uh I'm expecting uh, <clears throat> this one to end in a draw. Both teams to score. Correct score line for me. I'm seeing one all here. And in terms of the double chance bet, I'll go with either team. I'll go with a draw and under 4.5. Right? So, therefore, we're not going to have a bet on the handicap system. So, let's just go ahead and give you a quick recap here. Uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, Predictions for Espanol versus Real Sociedad. I'm expecting a draw here. That's two dollars and ninety. Expecting both teams to score as well, and that if they do, if that does happen, both teams scoring. That's two dollars and five cents at the moment. All right. And in terms of a car score line, I'm saying there should be a one-all draw between Espanol and Real Sociedad, and that's six dollars in terms of the odds. If you want to take a double chance, I go with a draw and under four point five goals in total, and that's three dollars in terms of the odds at the present moment right so that's how the quick rumbles between espanol and the real sociedad and now we're gonna move on to let's see here uh the final game for this year game week and as i said this year game week goes all the way from friday all the way through to wednesday of the following week and this final game is uh, real madrid versus elche and real madrid versus elche uh, we're expecting uh real madrid to win here and i'm expecting uh both teams uh not to score in terms of uh predicted score line i'm saying real madrid should win this one three nil uh in terms of uh, the handicap system i'm gonna go ahead and take real madrid to win this one by a goal all right real madrid to win this one by a goal all right so therefore folks uh in terms of uh bets you could also take another bet here where uh you have uh either team to win and on the 4.5 right so let's go ahead and give you a quick recap of Real Madrid versus Elche. I'm expecting Real Madrid to win here, and that's a dollar and sixteen cents. And also in terms of uh, both teams going, I'm saying no, that should not be the case. Both teams should not score, and that's a dollar and sixty. In terms of the car score line prediction, I'm saying three 0 here in favor of Real Madrid, and that's six dollars and fifty if that happens. And in terms of the handicap system, I'm going ahead and take Real Madrid to win by a goal, and that's a dollar and fifty three cents. And in terms of uh, another double chance by here, you could go with either team to win and total goals being scored in the match under 
4.5 all right and that's a dollar and 47 cents all right so folks thank you for joining me once again that's how the quick crumble for this year week of your la liga betting tips and predictions uh for this year game week and uh, as i said good luck uh, best of luck uh ensure you, you, you spread the word about the channel thank you for your support and remember to whenever you subscribe to the channel to hit the notification bell so that you can get these videos as soon as i publish them all right then thank you for your time and have a blessed weekend thanks